Privacy, it's something we sometimes take for granted. Today we live in a world where so much of our social interaction occurs online. But are we sharing too much? Does technology come at the expense of privacy? The notion of reputation was fundamental. And that hasn't changed. The way in which your reputation is impacted changes. Online, everything changes dramatically. You can't take the weekend off, not in terms of the information you post online. Whatever you post will probably stay online forever. If you have a problem with the internet and privacy, maybe you shouldn't be using the internet. Ramy the Minx writes a very popular blog about her life. She's open and candid about many details of herself that some would consider personal. But even Ramy has trouble balancing sometimes. It's tough because you're, you feel like a machine every day. You're just like a producing, blogging, information, narcissistic, mundane bullshit machine and then when something heavy happens in your life you kind of feel lost because it's all trivial. Stephen James May created weekendpictures.ca. It's a website documenting his graduate studies on how online sharing impacts privacy. I don't know if, if society is changing that much but the way we're sort of sharing it and the fact that it can be intercepted and lost and archived and shared and appear in places that we never intended and archived for perhaps our lifetime. I mean, I think that's what's new. There are girls using a cell phone, sometimes taking a naked picture of themselves and sending it to their boyfriend because they think their boyfriend is the only person who's going to see this. Are you kidding me? You know, he sent it to 50 of his closest friends as soon as he got it. Your naked picture is out there at age 15 or 16 or 18. Oh. Some people are totally open with Twitter and, you know, up to the second where they are. I try and still dodge that and keep that private nudity. I have definitely toned down the amount of nudity on my website because I know that my family, like the majority of my family, finally are reading it. Privacy equals freedom. Information is power. Information is control. You want to retain that control, especially about your personal information. In the past, when you're in a small town, sure, everybody knew everything, but they weren't archiving it and, and aggregating it and profiling you in an online database that is then you know, there for who knows how long and shared in ways that you may not know. If you want to preserve the freedoms that you enjoy and largely take for granted today, you better care about privacy.